Hey Playtime City friends, we are back with the Lego Classic Creative Space Planet set. If you saw our last video, you'll notice that we did the main builds that the instructions are for. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link in the description, but check it out. Today, however, we are going to do the full solar system. So I am going to rebuild the Sun, Earth, and Mars so you can see it. But we're going to do all the planets. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. I also brought Munch's Lego bin because we are going to do some customization. There's no stand or anything to display them. So I brought some of these black pieces from our Lego planet card that we made and yeah we're gonna use some of this and maybe some fairy lights so are you ready let's get started playtime city in the first video we did Lego dumps on bag number one two and three we have some leftover pieces but we're gonna sit them on the side here but the set also came with four additional bags so we're gonna do Lego dumps on each of these okay ready let's go Lego dumps! Lego jump! Lego jump! Lego jump! Ooh, we got a mini bag. Didn't see that coming. Ooh, mini bag. Let's do a Lego jump for this. Lego jump! And there we have it. All our Lego pieces ready to build out the solar system. Woo! The sun is made mostly of gas. It's about 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. These gases are constantly burning and releasing energy, which is what gives us heat and light. Mercury has ice at its poles. Even though it's super close to the sun and very hot, it has deep craters near the poles that never see sunlight. This keeps them cold enough to hold ice. Venus rotates in the opposite direction of most planets, so the sun rises in the west and sets in the east there. Also, a day on Venus, one full rotation, is longer than the Venetian year its orbit around the sun. Earth's atmosphere extends farther than we think. Tiny particles from Earth's atmosphere, like hydrogen, stretch more than halfway to the moon. This outer layer is called the geocorona. Mars has a unique tiny moon called Phobos which is slowly spiraling towards the planet. In about 50 million years, Phobos will either crash into Mars or break apart, forming a ring around it. Jupiter has faint rings, though they are hard to see from Earth. Unlike Saturn's icy rings, Jupiter's rings are made out of tiny dust particles created by collisions on its small inner moons. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, has lakes and rivers made of liquid methane, not water. Titan's rains and seas are very different from Earth because it's far too cold there for liquid water. Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system. Even though it's not the farthest from the sun, its temperatures can drop to negative 371 degrees Fahrenheit. Neptune actually has faint glow because it radiates more heat than it receives from the sun. And 
here we have all the planets and the star in our solar system. Let's go through it one by one. We have the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. I did customize these guys a little bit because on the Lego box, they actually had Uranus, dark blue, and Neptune light. But we know when we see pictures of the solar system, it's reversed, so that's what I did. I think it came out pretty cool, too. All right, well, the next step is to find a cool way to display them. I decided to use some of the black pieces that I used when I built the Lego Planet cars. I'll put a link to that video as well in the description. You can get these on Amazon. But yeah, I built some towers for some of them to stand up high on, some clear ones, and I supported it with some extra Lego pieces underneath. All right, so now we're going to put them in position. Obviously, we want to connect the sun with some of the planets that we had. So the original build had Earth and Mars. So where's Earth? Here we are. We're going to put Earth here. And we're going to snap Mars here. And we're going to put the little rotation device on the bottom so that they still can spin around like that. I think we're going to place them right in the middle. Well, it's not quite in the middle, but right there. And there we have them rotating. I have this spot here for the biggest planet in our solar system, which is Jupiter. So I think Jupiter will go here nicely. Now we're not putting them in actual planet order. It's just based on space that we have on our platform. The next one is Saturn. I'm gonna put Saturn right next to Jupiter. I think it's coming along nicely. Back here on this side, maybe we should put Venus. I think Venus looks good there with her heart eyes. There we go. And then let's put Mercury close by. And Uranus, let's stick him maybe right there. And last but not least, Neptune. And there we have our display. Mercury. Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And we can, whoa, <laughs> we're not gonna spin that. But we're gonna just spin these two guys around. Woo. Awesome. I think I wanna take it up another level. So I added some stars. These little circular Lego pieces actually glow in the dark. So once I sit it in some light, turn it off, these should glow like a greenish color. We actually have some glow in the dark spots here as well. So that'll be pretty cool. But I think I want to take it up one more level. What do you guys think? Yes! Alright, hold on. How about some fairy lights? They kind of look like twinkling stars. Parents, this is optional and this is something you would need to do, not your kids. And you wanna make sure they're secured. You can actually create a background platform if you wanna like stick it on there instead of close by the planets. But it's a really cool way to lighten up the solar system. So this is what we have. Let's see it with less light. Pretty cool, right? So here's our solar system. Now remember, you never have to actually follow the box. Be creative and do your own thing as you saw we did here. And we came up with a pretty cool mobile. I'm gonna show it to mine so I'm gonna actually call them over in a few minutes. But here's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Hey Munch, come here, I wanna show you something. I keep doing that, guys. It's spinning earth, not the platform. There we go. Whoa! What, you modified it? Yes! I created all the planets this time. 
And I added some of the glow in the dark tags and some of the fairy lights. You like it? Yeah. We just gotta find a place for it, but look, it still spins. And we have all the planets. You wanna name them starting with the sun? Yeah, so you have the sun. Who's this guy? Mercury. Mercury. And we have Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Who's, who's this guy? Uranus? Yes. And then Neptune. Yeah, see? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Awesome sauce. Well, Playtime City friends, we hope you enjoyed this Lego build of our solar system. Until the next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.